In this keynote, we're going to be looking at working with builds. Now, builds allow you to animate all the objects within your presentation, and it's the most powerful feature of Keynote. So let's start with an example. I'm going to go to my second slide, and here I have just a generic title with bullets page. Now, when I click play to display my presentation, you can see all the bullets appear at once, and when I click my mouse, it goes to the next slide. Well, with builds, for example, I can get these to be revealed one bullet with each click. So I'm going to click once on my text here, and then in the inspector, I'm going to go to the third icon across, which is the build inspector. It's that little um, yellow box on its side. Now here we have three options, build in, build out, and action. Now a build in is how do you want your object to appear? Build out is how do you want it to disappear. So with my bullet selected, and again I'm going to click here to select it, I'm going to say that I want it to appear by sparkling in. Now you can see we get a nice little preview up here. Now when I click play, you can see that by default I actually have to click my mouse now to reveal those bullets. Now what if we want to get those bullets to be revealed one bullet at a time rather than all at once? Well, it's really easy. Under delivery, we can choose instead of all at once, by bullet. So now when I click, it will reveal each bullet one at a time. So I'll click play, and there's my first bullet. I have to click again. Okay, now this is really good if you want to build tension, talk about one point before moving on to the other. Now again, I'm going to select this. You can see here we have lots of nice options, like we can change the direction of the sparkle. We can get it to go from top to bottom. And I'm going to click on the color and change it to a nice blue sparkle so it stands out. We can change the duration. So I'm going to get them to happen slightly quicker. Uh, quicker sorry. So now when I click play, there we go. That looks great. Now the next thing I want to do is get these points to disappear. So I'm going to click on build out. Here I'm just going to get them to fly out. So as you can see they all disappear. Now if I click on more options it actually shows you the order of things and this is really powerful. You can see here that the first thing that happens is our first points revealed, then our other bullets and they are revealed by clicking. Just like the transition, we can actually set them to appear automatically. Then our bullets fly out. So if I click play, I've just animated it to reveal each bullet with each click. And now when I click again, it builds out and flies off the screen. I'll give you one more example of how we can add a build to an image, for example. Let's say I want my image to start on the left-hand side of the screen and then animate across it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position my image there and then in the build inspector I'm going to click on action. Now the effect I want to apply here is a move. So automatically it adds me this point that I can drag to my end destination. So I'm going to get that just to move across a little bit, so about there. Now you can choose how long it will take so we can adjust the duration. So we can have a very slow move across the screen. Acceleration will be, do you want it to ease in and ease out? And now when I click play, I just need to click. And you can see I've animated my fish image to move across the screen. Next thing I might want to do is have it scale. So after it's moved across the screen, I'm going to click add action. And this time I don't want it to move anymore. I want it to scale. So now, I'm going to actually make it get larger so it fills the screen. Now as you can see here, our order is first a move and then a scale. So now when I click play, I can click to get it to move across and then click again to get it to scale up. I'm going to exit this. Now I might want my scale to occur automatically so I don't have to click. So I'm going to start the build automatically after build one has occurred and I don't want there to be any delay. So now when I click play, I'm going to click once, moves across and then automatically scales up. 
Another nice option that you will have noticed is automatically with build one, so it's going to scale up as it moves across. So I'm going to click, and there we go. So that's just a quick introduction to builds. Um, the real power will come through actually playing around with it, and suddenly it's just going to click, and you'll be able to realize how you can animate planes to fly across maps and all sorts of cool stuff. So that was a quick introduction to builds, and we'll do some more advanced podcasts later.